It seems like every few weeks we get a new small tidbit of information about what Google is doing with their Android desktop mode. And rather than giving you a video with just a small tidbit, I thought it might be really useful to kind of give a broad overview that catches everyone up to where we are now and then gives you that newest bit of news. So for anybody that might be basically starting at zero, there are Android devices out there that have the ability to switch into a different user interface than the one that you typically just see on your phone. Sometimes this interface is triggered by the device being plugged into an external monitor. Sometimes on larger devices like a Samsung Galaxy Tab, this interface can be switched to directly on that device's screen. And basically what happens is you get an interface that is much more akin to something like Windows or Mac OS, something like that, much more like a desktop interface with a taskbar down at the bottom, the ability to move your applications around in resizable windows, snapping them to grids, etc., etc. This is a very, very potentially useful feature. I think it's really easy to overlook just how powerful our phones are. Looking at, you know, mid-range or lower in laptops from just a couple of years ago, or maybe even current, your phone might be more powerful than those. So having the ability to switch into an interface that allows you to truly multitask better makes a lot of sense. And strangely enough, all the way back in 2019, Android, Google, actually introduced their own little desktop mode. It's tucked away, hidden inside developer options, but unfortunately, it's basically useless useless for people like myself and likely people like you as well because this desktop mode was largely just intended to be used as a test bed for developers. It wasn't actually meant to be deployed and used. When Samsung launched DeX, they kind of took it and ran with it and did their own thing and made it a proper thing that you could actually get work done in. After all these years of Android's built-in desktop mode sitting there unused and unloved while Samsung has DeX and Motorola has Ready4 and they're all having so much fun, it seems like we are finally perhaps on the precipice of things dramatically changing. And the first prerequisite for this happening, I think happened in March of 2024. You may not realize this, but Google's Pixel smartphones for a long time did not have the ability to be plugged into an external monitor and have their display shown on said external monitor until March of 2024 with the Pixel 8 line of devices. This was actually enabled with an update. You can't have a Pixel desktop mode if you can't plug your Pixel into a monitor and have that actually function. So we ticked that box. We got that out of the way. But now in regard to just that desktop mode itself, man, there are so many rumors that it's hard to keep track of. But I think that the thing that when it happened, it really blew the lid off of things was when Google themselves showed what they were working on. With Android 15's QPR1 beta, Google released this, a full-blown desktop style UI for the Pixel tablet. And this has since rolled out publicly. Let me show you how this kind of works here. So you have this little handle at the top of the screen and if you touch it, and you drag down, you'll see here, it's gonna switch into this desktop mode where your taskbar now becomes pinned down to the bottom. But beyond that, you have the ability to run applications in Windows. They're not full screen, right? You can see that's Chrome, and it looks kind of like Chrome looks on your desktop. They have actually recently added a minimize button as well, which is definitely much needed. But then they're gonna go ahead and launch another application here, Google Calendar, and there it is in another window. You can drag these things to different sides and it will snap them side by side. This was a great first step, or maybe second step. The real question is now that we've seen this, if and when it will ever actually be operational on your phone and how that will work. So far, I think about the closest that we have gotten is this video from Michelle Rahman of Android Authority. This is actually from an Android beta from, I think it was an Android 14 beta, where he was able to kind of trigger this desktop mode work in progress. So this predates what Google released on the Pixel tablet. So you can see it's missing some things, but a lot of stuff does work. There's a little handle at the top, but it operates differently. Rather than dragging it down, you click on it and you can change different views 
that way. So I would guess this represents sort of an older work in progress. That's why this is different. But nonetheless, this is a Pixel phone plugged into an external monitor. The Pixel phone is operating as normal. The monitor is showing this, where you can move windows around. You can resize them. You can launch multiple different applications. You have your little handle up there at the top. There's a lot here that does bear striking resemblance to what they did release on the Pixel tablet later. So we know that it's there, it's being worked on to some degree. And now with this latest story from Michelle Ramon here on Android Authority, it does look like this is all getting even closer and closer. If we scroll down here, this is part of the Android 16 beta number three. Michelle says they found a series of strings referencing a desktop experience. You can see those strings right down here. But basically what they're saying is a toggle to turn on this desktop experience features, a toggle to enable desktop view on the device and on a secondary display, and another toggle that says enable desktop view on secondary display. So maybe three different options there. With a bit of tinkering, Michelle says they were actually able to surface the aforementioned developer option, and you can see it right here, enable desktop experiment features. I said experiment, I meant experience. It's a bit of an experiment as well though. So it appears as though they are changing that wording in the developer options to sort of point towards this new thing that they are building that's kind of been in the background. You would need to get into these betas and tinker and do some things, change some flags to get these new features to surface. They are apparently on the way. And all of this stuff makes a ton of sense because there has also been reporting that Chrome OS is going to basically be transitioned over to an Android base. And for that to make sense, you need Android to be able to scale to these larger screens and have an interface that makes sense on these larger screens to work well with a mouse and keyboard. We've seen reports that Android's mouse and keyboard support is getting better, new shortcuts, customizable shortcuts for keyboards. We've seen new monitor management settings as well being tested. We can arrange your different monitors like you can on Windows. So quite clearly, what Google is doing here is they're trying to turn Android into their unified operating system that can scale from phone to tablet to laptop to whatever they need it to be so that it will be best set up to compete with whatever device it needs to compete with. iPads, laptops, phones, they'll have everything covered and an interface that makes sense on each of those devices. As I look at my Oppo Find N5 and I see their little handle at the top of the screen, which allows you to jump into different multitasking things, I wonder to myself, if perhaps some of the larger OEMs know that something is coming and that perhaps, like I keep saying, sooner rather than later, that handle will be up there. And when you're on a large screen, you can drag it down and switch into a desktop mode. Or if you're a smaller screen, you can plug it into an external monitor and get that similar experience as well. I am very, very excited to see how this is going to actually operate and hopefully we're not going to have to wait a whole lot longer. And hopefully what I've done here is I've given you a decent sort of timeline, I guess, of how all of these rumors have gone. And I've tried my best to sort of keep some of the false starts and red herrings out of the story. If you want to see this in written form, I'll put a link in the description down below. And in that article that I wrote, I will have links to a whole bunch of news stories on Android Authority and places like that where all this information is kind of sourced from. So again, hopefully that is useful and hopefully now you are up to date on what's going on with desktop mode on Pixel devices in Android in general. So guys, let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.